Hello Dippy Dinos, welcome back to the Dinosaur Toy Blog channel. I have today two eBay deliveries which will be unboxed or unpacked. We'll start with the small one. My trusty old red scissors. Let's see what we can find. And this is a pleasy saw. Wow, well, let's see if we can work out what company, if any, creates this. It's in a quite tough plastic bag. And this is uh, no name, no brand. So it looks to me like this is a knockoff figure. Uh, and it looks very similar to me to the Collecte or Collect A. Hydrotherosaurus, which is an elasmosaur. It's not identical, and I do have the original for comparison, but there's enough similarities here where I think it's pretty obvious that this is a knocked off version of that original Procon or Collecte figure. It's one of the earlier Procon figures, which later became known as Collector. Uh, not one of the best, so I don't know why they chose this one to knock off, but it's a pleasing sort. Not entirely sure how I feel about uh, purchasing knockoff figures. It's just the the fact that I am a bit of a completist when it comes to pleasing sores, and it's always interesting to see what these cheeky Chinese fellows come up with. So that's the first one, a new pleasing sore to add to my collection. Put that to one side. And we'll move on to this big one. So, oh, this one opens easy. We might not even need our scissors to get in here. Or will we? We might. Let's just cut through. So, let's get in. There are two boxes in here, two sets. This is one, and the other here. These are by a company called Weno. So, where are we? Weno. They also produce animals. Their logo here is the asses of three elephants, an adult and two babies. Their tagline, more than just animals, with a capital A for animals, um, for no apparent reason. So these are produced in sets. I think that this set has a name, but I can't see in the packaging any such name. I think this might be a Cretaceous set. At least that's how it was sold on the eBay page, but I can't, for the life of me, see any such title. Anyway, what have we got in here? We have four prehistoric critters, a mosasaur, an amargosaurus, what looks like it could be a, a carithosaurus or lambiosaurus, and a parasaurolophus. In the other set, this, I think, is a Jurassic set. We have a plesiosaur. Obviously, this is one of the main reasons why I've gone for this set. Um, a guanlong, some sort of small theropod, some sort of medium-sized theropod, and a sauropod, probably a patasaurus. So, let's have a closer look. We'll go for this one first. How do we get into these? So I'd never heard of Weno, the company before. Uh, I found out about this through a, a fellow dino, a fellow um, YouTuber, in fact, uh, called Dan Surprise. Dan Surprise presented an unboxing of a whole set of these Weno figures, and obviously when I saw that there were some marine reptiles in the sets, I couldn't resist. I went hunting around online and found them for a pretty reasonable price. I think I paid about £25 for each of these sets. 
Now let's have a look and see what they're like in terms of quality. First impressions, not too good. But let's have a little look and give them a chance at least. So well, first we'll go for the plesiosaur, which is a really bizarre design. There's some nice details here actually. The, the head is pretty good for a plesiosaur. They've got the eye in the right socket. Um, the fl shape of the flippers is a little bit unusual, but uh, nice coloration. Overall, that's not a bad attempt. That's uh, a figure with quite a lot of character, actually, uh, I think. Is there any branding on the underside? No, there's not. Just one note on the flipper here, which says, Made in China. So if anybody ever finds these loose, then you can know that they were produced by this company called Weno. So that's the Pleasy Saw. This is the Sauropod. Uh, since they don't have the names on, there's no way to tell. And to be honest, there's nothing special about this figure. This is this is a China Saw. This is a very poor representation of a dinosaur, just packaged in a fancy way. Nothing too special there. This one's quite interesting because it's a, a feathered dinosaur, Guanlong, which is a early Tyrannosauroid from China and I mean it's not the best model but you can see what it's meant to be, it's got the crest, it's picked out in red, uh, really bizarre feet with a huge, huge feet with a claw pointing backwards, very flat footed, um, not the best model but interesting for collectors. Uh, the same goes for this little one as well. I'm not sure exactly what it's supposed to be. Maybe uh, uh, Compsognathus, possibly. We'll see. We'll have a look inside the box and see if there's any information uh, giving more info on what the identity of these critters is. You've got the same problem with the foot there, which is presumably so that it stands up, uh, which it does, and the Guan Long does as well. So uh, it's a compromise there between accuracy and and playability, posability. And finally, I guess this is supposed to be an Allosaurus. Uh, again, it's it's not particularly accurate. Uh, there's no marks on the underside. It's got that same issue with the feet, where the hind claw is, is used to support the figure. And does it stand? Uh, yeah, it does. Overall, I'd say the Plesiosaur is, is good. The Three theropods, not so good, and the sauropod is actually is pretty crap. Um, it doesn't seem to me to belong in this set, even though the whole set isn't particularly accurate. So, was there anything in the box that can help us to identify these species? Anything on the back of the box? Um, no, it looks like there's some app that you can uh, that you can check out, but I'm not really interested in that. And this is, I suppose this is a poster. Uh, okay. I'm not going to be able to get this into the full screen, but this says... Ah! This says carnivorous dinosaurs at the top. Herbivorous dinosaurs on the side. A timeline running through the middle. So you've got uh, there's a Plesiosaurus here, the Guanlong is here, Allosaurus here, Compsognathus here. So it was a Compsognathus. We were right with that guess. And so yeah, this set must be Plesiosaurus, Guanlong, Allosaurus, Compsognathus. There's a Dilophosaurus in the picture, but there is no. Dilophosaurus in the set, maybe that's in a separate set, and there's also T-Rex, Velociraptor, Spinosaurus. Not in this set, maybe they're in another. So that's that one. Let's move on to the second set now. Again, here we have a marine reptile, which was my real motivation for, for getting this set. Fewer models in this set, only four, but they're a lot larger. 
here's the poster, which I suppose, yeah, that's the same poster again. So nothing of note there. And we have a Mosasaur. Not too bad. It's not too good either. The, the tail is a bit unusual because it's uh, it's almost, it looks like it's horizontal. It's, uh, it looks like it's horizontal and it's very much like a whale's tail or a fish's tail when you look at it from above, but it's actually um, twisted. So uh, this, this part here, that's supposed to be the dorsal fluke, the top fluke of the tail. And then this is the ventral fluke, the downwards pointing fluke. So I suppose they've twisted it around here so that it fits into the nice flat boxes. Um, so there you go. That's a Mosasaur. The Hadrosaur with the very prominent forward pointing crest, which I think is a, a Lambiosaurus crest. I wonder if it says on the poster. Uh, yeah, so we've got Lambiosaurus on the poster, but the Lambiosaurus is depicted here with the prong pointing backwards. So I presume that this figure represents a different species. Um, I should know that off the top of my head, but I can't can't think at the moment. This is an Amargosaurus, which, well, it's recognisably an Amargosaurus. It's got the, the double row of spines running along its neck. But apart from that, it's a pretty poor attempt. And finally is the Parasaurolophus. It's not great. It, it's, it, these are very reminiscent, actually, of the early collector figures from about a decade ago. Um, so anyway, this is possibly a company to keep an eye on. If there's any particular collectors who have an interest in species, marine reptiles or feathered dinosaurs, for example, this might be one to check out. Uh, otherwise, not much to, to rave about here. Uh, Anyway, that's all from me. Until next time, bye.